Hey guys, so we're here at the Devil's Den. It's located in the Trawhead area. Supposedly it's haunted, and supposedly there's some eerie things going on over there. There's been quite a bit of history with satanic rituals and other creepy things that goes on in that area. But we're gonna go explore it. We're gonna check it out. In we go. There's deer there. You know, I had to make sure everything's okay. So we're going to go look for this devil den. Supposedly it's around here somewhere. Usually, most of these areas I go to doesn't bother me, but this time around, I'm actually starting to get bothered with, not really sure why. This is crazy. Where's the moonlight when you need it? You know? Ooh. The air feels real stuffy. The air feels really heavy. And what was that? I heard something. I heard like a loud boom.
I'm not really sure how far we have to go. I'm not even sure how far the Devil's Den really is. Oh, why am I having so much trouble breathing today? It's like the same sensation when I went down from that um, Comanche lookout, which is strange. <coughs> Hold on guys, let's keep going. So if anything happens, my girl will call. What was that? Hold on. Come across a marker. So let's go that way. Hopefully I'm not too far out. Oh. So I definitely need to be careful. What was that? Hold on, guys. I might have to draw myself out. Hold on. There's deer all over the place. Man, this air is so heavy. Why am I having so much trouble? It's just deer. Yeah, it had to be just in case. Sometimes we get coyotes out here or bobcats.
or my action stick that's attached onto that light has completely wiped my light out. And just to let you know guys that battery was fully charged. Not sure what happened that there's the devil's den part of it. But that's like it's too cramped in there. I can't get in there through the entry point. I'm not really sure I won't be able to explore the devil's den. I'm already having too much things happening. I called to check on my girl, make sure she's okay. It's fine, but it just automatically dropped the call. There's a lot of strange occurrences happening. Yeah, there's definitely something out here. You know? Not really sure how I'm going to pursue it any more than I want to. But we're going to go further in. And we're getting out of here. It's already getting dark. Candle. So it's around here somewhere. But it's like the rat part. I don't think I want to go any further. Because it's too small to get in there. It's too cramped. You know? Hey. Hey, babe. Hey, this, huh? The same black car keeps coming up and down this road. It will go down to the entrance of Devil's Den and turn around and come back. Oh, shoot. It's done it like three different times. I need to get out. And I swear. I need to get out quick. It's a small black right now. Yeah, it's a small black car. I need to get out quick. Okay. Stay on the, um, let me turn off the camera and stay on the phone with me. Guys, well, we're back safe and sound. We had a situation with a car acting really suspicious, and they were looking in to see if anybody went down there. It seems like they were protecting something in there because it wasn't an undercover. Based on the information my girl has told me, this car has been circling around, speeding up, circling around, and coming back where the Devil's Den trailhead is. So we're not going to take a chance, take a risk, so I had to get over there quickly and get us out of there. So we're here safe and sound again. So I hope you enjoyed the video that I put out there for y'all folks. So uh, don't forget to drop a like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell, alright? And uh, y'all have a good night and God bless.